Hello folks, so today we're in the sunny islands of the Bahamas for a very nostalgic family recipe of my grandmother's oxtail and lima beans. Today I'll be using white large lima beans, but you can go ahead and use green lima beans out of the can and that'll do just fine. I know everyone loves oxtails. I know I certainly do. So hit that subscribe button. Remember to like and leave a comment and ring that notification bell so you're updated every week as I upload new videos. If you're going, let's go. So here we have five pounds of our rinsed oxtails. I'm adding a half a cup of red wine vinegar and seasoned with Raquel seasoning salt. We're going to cook our oxtails in a pressure cooker, halfway filled with water, adding two beef bouillon cubes to it, and approximately 25 minutes, these oxtails are tender and ready to go. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can braise in a Dutch oven for approximately 60 minutes or boil in a pot large enough until tender. Drain and reserve the flavorful broth and set the oxtails aside. Set aside two tablespoons of browning sauce. Place your pot over medium-high heat, add your oil, your browning, and place your oxtails in batches in the pot to sear on both sides for approximately 3 minutes per side. When the oxtails are browned, remove and set aside on a plate. Set aside one medium red onion slice, one green bell pepper dice, eight cloves of garlic slice, two cups of diced tomatoes, one cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and this is that flavorful reserved broth. You need about three to four cups of it, and here we have two tablespoons of crushed allspice berries, about three sprigs of fresh thyme leaves, one whole scotch bonnet pepper, and one bay leaf. We have two cups of large white lima beans, a quarter cup of Italian diced parsley, and two tablespoons of Raquel's seasoned salt. Place your pot over medium heat Add your oil, and once hot enough, add in your onions, your green bell peppers, and your garlic, and cook for approximately two to three minutes. Add in your tomatoes, and cook for an additional three minutes. Add all of your ketchup, your Worcestershire sauce, add in your allspice berries, your bay leaf, add your broth and stir to achieve a sauce that coats the back of your spoon. Add a whole scotch bonnet pepper if using three to four thyme sprigs, season to taste with the salt, bring up to a boil, and then add in your oxtails. Add your lima beans, parsley, and a little black pepper if using. Let cook for additional 10 to 15 minutes and this sensational dish is ready to go. So here we have it. Another luscious dish of delectable, tender, falling off the bone oxtails with lima beans. I've paired it with some steamed white rice. I can't have oxtails without my crispy, 
plantains and also a nice medley of vegetables here. You've got to try this. It's going to become one of your family's favorite just as it is mine. And remember, when it comes to Caribbean cuisine, nobody does it better than your island girl.